This information is strictly educational and should never take the place of medical and our mental health evaluation, treatment, or advice. If you need assistance, always see a licensed therapist and a medical professional. Get ready for an exciting personal journey that could change your life. Hi, my name is Dr. Howard Rosenthal, and I'm one of the authors of the life-changing book, Help Yourself to Positive Mental Health, with 50 great ideas conveniently located in one place. On this YouTube video and future programs, I'm going to be sharing numerous easy-to-understand techniques and specific suggestions from my book to help you eliminate depression, unhappy feelings, fear, anxiety, loneliness, anger, a poor self-image, and undesirable habits, bad communication, relationship difficulties, and a lot more. Now, don't let the simplicity of these ideas fool you. They are extremely effective. Each idea is based on interventions that have been used by thousands of professional counselors and therapists. You can use the book and the YouTube presentations to help yourself and your family. However, you can also share the information with a trusted friend. Most of all, use this information to improve your life right now. Okay, I'll swing into action and share the first simple technique. Here it is. Reward yourself for doing the right thing. It seems incredibly simple, but you can use it right away because it works. We use it with our pets, but guess what? It works wonders with humans. The scientific name for the technique is positive reinforcement, and it was popularized by a very famous American psychologist named B.F. Skinner. The B.S. stands for Burris Frederick, but you don't need to know that to make the idea work its magic. Skinner has been called the father of behaviorism. Here is how to use it. Let us assume you want a child to do their math homework. Every time the child completes a math problem, you give them a reward such as their favorite food. The trick to make the technique work is to give the reward or so-called reinforcement fast, nearly immediately if possible, no delays. When given rapidly, it will encourage the behavior to occur in the future. Now imagine this. At 7 a.m., I let my dog out in the yard, and then a few minutes later, I want the animal to come in the house. I just yell, come on now, treat. When the dog comes in, I immediately give my dog a treat. Makes sense, right? But now imagine I decide I'll give my dog the treat for coming in the house at 7 a.m. tonight at 8 p.m. Will the dog keep coming when I call him the next day? Mm, probably not. Now, you can see why I'm not a fan of programs like if a student gets straight A's, they receive free baseball tickets at the end of the semester. Hey, a 16-week semester or whatever is way too long. Although it might work for a small number of kids, it won't change the behavior for most of them. 
It just took too darn long to receive the pleasurable response, a.k.a. going to the ball game. Another reason positive reinforcement doesn't work is that you make the behavior required to receive the reward too long, too hard, or just too complex. Say you need to write a 20-page paper for your world religions class in college. You thus tell yourself that if you write the paper tonight, you will allow yourself to go shopping and buy that article of clothing you've been drooling over. Would that be effective? I doubt it. 20 pages give me a break. That's way, 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 I think that's five ways, too long and too much work. Now, if you bargained with yourself that if you wrote two pages, or better yet, the title for the paper in the first two paragraphs, then you could go shopping? Yes, the strategy would probably have a much better chance of working. Another reason that reinforcement doesn't work is because you pick something that's not pleasurable for the person. I'll never forget the time a client told me this technique didn't work with her teenager. What I discovered is that she picked chocolate as a reward, but it turned out the child was allergic to chocolate. He felt dreadful after eating it. Not going to work. All right, give positive reinforcement a try and let me know in the comments section how it works for you. Remember, this technique raises the probability and the possibility that a behavior will occur again or strengthen. Here's to your positive mental health, Dr. Howard Rosenthal.